I'd like to introduce everybody to Jasper, our 2016 striped tiger, whatever you want to call that, jungle carpet python. He came from Jeff Clark out of Savannah, Georgia. Was shipped here a week ago, and we had a little bit of drama getting him here. He was lost by FedEx. A FedEx actually delivered to the wrong house, and he did not arrive until the person that he was at the house of, they noticed he was there, and he was marked clearly as a jungle carpet python on the box, and that it was a live reptile, so the person graciously brought it over after I looked for hours and hours for, for him everywhere at around 11 p.m. that night. After they said that they delivered him at 2.30, he finally arrived, and when he got here, it was 38 degrees outside, and his skin temperature with the thermal gun was 46 degrees Fahrenheit. So, we put him immediately in with Mary, and of course, it was in the middle of a thunderstorm, and here in southern Oregon, out in the mountains uh, we experienced a blackout and he was with no power which we took full advantage of that and put him directly in with Mary our 2017 wild line jungle carpet python and they have been getting along wonderfully. We've seen one visual lock. It's a little early in breeding season. Breeding season doesn't normally start till November, but it is here October 16th. And I like to do introductions during October and then I'll separate them around November 1st, give them a final feeding and then take them off feeding until January, putting them back together until then, and hopefully we will have some eggs. The only heat that they will have is the ambient air kept here around 76 degrees, and we'll keep this hot spot light on them, and hopefully we can get some follicle so Mary, she has produced a clutch of eggs and her last clutch, she had 20 and I specifically bought Jasper here to breed specifically to Mary because I'm wanting to get some stripes because I'm going to add stripes into my other breeding program and the easiest way to get the super stripe and the low yellow stripe that I want because as you can see he is a low low impact yellow there is a camo color over him and when we take and breed him hopefully in with our Azantic project anything that comes out Azantic that blue or that yellow is will be accentuated against the almost translucent diamondy breakup in the pattern because if you look closely let me say his black is not really black it has broken pattern everywhere Beautiful, beautiful head marking, hourglass marking on his head. And you can see his pattern is a dark pattern. And as soon as he comes out of the shed, I'm planning on sending in his shed because, well, from what I gathered from the story, Jeff Clark bought him as a female in 2017 at the Daytona Reptile Expo put him in with a male and instead of a lock he got a carpet python surprise 
they win a good fight. And everybody knows males love to battle each other during breeding season. So he went for a quick sale. I snagged him up because I did not have a male for Mary. And Eggly Lee, unfortunately, back in May, prolapsed. And we lost him. And he was a Azantic tiger. And right now, we don't know anything about him other than he is a tiger striped, aka striped. And once we get the shed test, genetic testing back, we will know exactly what it, he is. And we are hoping to get it. them two to lock together soon. We, we've got a good time. It's, we've got him in here in plenty of time for introductions. Like I said, it's he's been in here for one week with her. And it is just now October 16th. And by November, they should be in full breeding mode. And hopefully she will do another 20 babies.